Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. In the last couple of videos on sound, I talked about fan boxes, but I didn't really go into what fan boxes were. So I thought we'd take a step back today and talk about fan boxes. So let's go over what are fan boxes and how do they work. If you remember back a couple months ago, I discussed VAV boxes. If you haven't seen that video, you can go back and get caught up on what VAV boxes are and what and how they work. But basically, VAV boxes vary the airflow to a zone. In the VAV box video, I discussed single duct boxes, but fan boxes are just another type of VAV box, which, as the name says, has a fan in it. You'll sometimes hear them referred to as powered induction units, or PIUs. There are two types of fan boxes, series and parallel. Let's move this out of the way, and let's first look at what the two types have in common. Both types have a casing with a discharge that is ducted to grills and diffusers in the occupied space or office. They have a supply or primary air inlet with a damper inside which is ducted to the supply air handler. The damper would be connected to an actuator in a control box that would control its operation and there would also be a flow sensor to measure the airflow coming in to the supply air inlet. Both types of fan boxes also have an induced air inlet that is usually open to the ceiling plenum, but it can be ducted to return air. The function of the induced air inlet is to pull warm plenum air into the fan box when heating is needed. The warm plenum air acts as free heating. Okay, so let's move this up here and make a copy of it and look at how series and parallel fan boxes differ. The top one will be the series box. The key difference between the series and parallel fan boxes is the location of the fan. If the fan is on the discharge, it's a series fan box. It's called a series fan box because the fan is in series with the primary airstream. So whether the air comes from the supply air inlet or the induced air inlet, it all goes through the fan. Now in the parallel box, it has the same parts, but the fan is located on the induced air inlet, so it's parallel to the primary air stream. It's usually mounted on a fan deck and has a backdraft damper. So let's label this over here, a parallel box, and the fan is parallel to the primary air stream. So you can see that the air comes through the primary inlet, never goes through the fan. Only the induced air will go through the fan. The backdraft damper on a parallel fan box is usually gravity operated and it only opens when the fan is blowing on it. When the fan is off, the damper is closed so that supply air cannot go out the induced air inlet into the plenum and waste energy. The difference in the location of the fan affects the performance and sound of the fan boxes. For one, in a series box, the fan has to be on all the time because all the air is going through it. This means that it is sized for maximum CFM of the box. But with the fan at the discharge of the box, one of the benefits is that you get a boost of the airflow to get the air through your diffusers. So you only need enough system pressure to get the supply air into the fan and then the fan box fan will boost the air out. Also with the fan running all the time, you have constant airflow to the space and therefore a constant sound from the fan box as well. For this reason, series fan boxes are also often referred to as constant volume fan boxes. In the parallel fan box, the fan is only on during heating, so it's sized for the heating airflow. So you have a smaller fan, but it's not on the discharge, so it doesn't help to boost the airflow to the diffuser. So on the supply air inlet, you would need enough pressure to get the air through the fan box and all the way out through the diffusers. The other thing with parallel fan boxes is that because the fan turns on and off, the airflow and sound will vary depending on whether it's on cooling or heating mode. For this reason, parallel fan boxes are sometimes called intermittent fan boxes. So let's move these off to the side and draw our two fan boxes again and look at some actual airflow conditions. So let me quickly draw the first box. And to save time, I will copy this and put it down here, and now let's draw in our fans. Okay, so the series fan box is on top, and the bottom one is the parallel fan box. 
So let's say we have 1,000 CFM of 55 degree air coming into the primary air inlet of the series fan box. In cooling mode, the fan is also going to be set to 1,000 CFM because in a series fan box, the fan cannot be set at an airflow that's below the primary CFM. So what you'd get is 1,000 CFM at 55 degree air being delivered to the space. Same thing in the parallel box. There's no fan, but your 1000 CFM primary at 55 degrees will come straight through the fan box and go to the space at 1000 CFM at 55 degrees. But now let's look at heating. Say in heating, our damper closes down to 300 CFM of 55 degree air, but the fan is still set at 1000 CFM, so it's going to pull the remaining 700 CFM from the ceiling plenum, and that's probably about 75 degree air. So when those two mix to the space, you're going to get 1,000 CFM of 69 degree air to provide the first stage of heat. In your parallel box, though, we can turn our primary air down to 300 CFM, but we can set our fan at a different CFM. So we can set that at 500 CFM, for instance. And in this case, we would have the 500 plus 300 supplying 800 CFM to the space at 68 degree Fahrenheit. So you can see if you are in the space, in the series box, you're always getting 1,000 CFM of air. And that may mean your diffusers perform better or you get constant sound in the space. Whereas in the parallel box, you would get 800 CFM in the space. So you would get less airflow. So this may mean that you have to pick a diffuser so that it will operate through the full range of airflows it'll see and still maintain the mixing and performance characteristics that you want. So let's move this over and let's do a quick summary of series and parallel fan boxes. So in a series fan box, the fan is in series with the primary airstream, so the fan is always on. In a parallel fan box, the fan is only on during heating. So this means that the series fan box has to be sized for the cooling load, which means it usually has a larger fan than a parallel fan box, where the parallel fan box is only sized for the heating load, so it could have a smaller fan. In the series fan box, the fan will boost the air to the diffusers, and that means that you can have a lower inlet static pressure requirement of the fan box to get the performance you want. Whereas in a parallel fan box, the fan does not boost the air to the diffusers and you usually need a higher inlet static pressure to get the airflow through the boxes and all the way out through the diffusers. In the series box, you have constant airflow and constant sound. And in the parallel box, you have intermittent airflow and intermittent sound as it goes into heating mode. So that's what fan boxes are and how they work and a summary of the two different types of fan boxes. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.